Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We're going to talk about Disney's, was it Q3? Yeah, Q3, Q3 earnings. Already. Uh, earnings call, and uh, it was very much a, a mixed bag. It, there wasn't much, I mean... There wasn't much, I mean, that's... There really wasn't much. Just that, hey, we're going to focus on, you know, movies, and we're not going to spend as much and do as many movies. We're going to focus on the parks, because the parks are doing good. And we're going to, even though Disney World's attendance is down, and we're going to focus on streaming. Yeah, and Disney Plus lost more subscribers. They're mm -hmm. talking they're going to crack down on password sharing. They yeah. are raising the price of everything. And they the prices, yep. Yep, of course they did, every quarter. We told you that. Well, we knew they were going to do that. Yeah. Yep. So we're going to talk, uh, we're going to talk about this. They're going to try to get as much blood out of the stones as they can. The stones being the Disney fans they have left. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, if you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo. Uh, so before we, we get into the uh, the earnings call, and we were only you know half paying attention because it's, it's all getting kind of old, right? Mm. Uh, one, Kathleen Kennedy is still in charge of Lucasfilm. So far. Oh my gosh. Uh, two, there are more articles being published basically saying they think Disney is going to be up for sale. And yeah, but I, okay. Now, to be fair, I missed most of the... <laughs> investor call because we had a, a little bit of an issue that required me and Neon both to leave to handle. But at the end, I did come in and someone did catch call him on that. They said, so like you basically, I heard they're exactly what you're asking, but it was, they asked him about selling it. And he said, well, it's too soon to speculate on that. And he brought up the one thing I had said before about the regulations. Right. And he's like, when you consider all the, the regulations about something like this, you know, maybe that's kind of your answer, but he didn't answer the question. He didn't say no. He didn't say no. And he also, says, I, just, I just can't really speculate on that. He too didn't soon. say no. He didn't mm. say no. And also, you know, uh, Microsoft and Activision Blizzard, that thing got pushed through mm -hmm. uh, HBO got pushed through as it stands Warner. and we've said this before and now yeah. no one's doubting that as it stands somebody probably couldn't buy it a whole cloth that's why they'd have to piecemeal it we talked about that he did not answer the question but somebody asked him the question that what i caught of it i didn't get the catch the whole thing and i'm so mad about it i waited all day for it and of course don't you know that if you wait all day and plan your whole day around something that is when something is going to break yes in yes. this time it's our car but that's yes. another story entirely. And it wasn't us who did it. Another story entirely. No, you know, you know how we talk about help and anti-help on this channel. You know, when you take your car to a mechanic and you think they're going to be helpful and you don't have to worry about anything. And then they, they mess it up and then they got to redo it. And then they got to redo it again. Yeah, that's anti-help because now it's actually cost me more time than it would have cost for me to do it myself. I'm just You saying. don't know how to do it yourself. I know how to do some stuff myself. Yeah, that the the thing that they're fixing you did not. Anyway, no. so I could watch a YouTube video. I could do it. <gasps> anyway. Anyway. Anyway, let's talk about this. Uh so let's go to CNBC cuz they're pretty pretty newsy. Uh Disney posts mixed results for quarter plagued by streaming woes and restructuring costs. Mm -hmm. Uh, subscriber losses continued over the last three months with the company reporting 146 million Disney Plus subscribers during the most recent quarter. Yeah, that's over 11 million drop. That's bad. Mm -hmm. They put 7.4% decline. Which they put 7.4%, which probably doesn't sound as bad as 11 million subs. Well, yeah, because CNBC likes likes uh, Bob Iger, yeah. right? Disney recorded $2.65 in one-time charges and impairments, dragging the company to a rare quarterly net loss. Uh, one bright spot for the company was the parks, experiences, mm -hmm. and products, which saw a 13% increase in revenue. In revenue, not necessarily attendance, but in revenue. Right. Well, that's an easy one. You keep jacking prices. Yeah. And actually, I think it was uh, WDW News Today said that uh, a lot of uh, uh, the international parks are doing really well. Yeah. That's what they kept pointing out was the international parks are doing well. I think even Disneyland isn't doing too terrible. The one that seems to be doing the worst is Walt Disney World, which we all know because... We keep seeing pictures of it. And right now it's probably not doing too hot because it's too hot. That is true. They're going to blame. They're going to blame everything on. It'll all on be because that one, that, that, that one week when it was hot. <laughs> it's always hot in Florida, Bob. <laughs> it's know? always hot in Florida. It's always hot in LA. What did you expect? What did you expect? Uh, yeah. So he believes that uh, Disney plus 
and what the parks and movies are going to be their their business structures that are going to drive right the now, greatest growth. They said with Disney Plus, the parts that they catch, they you know a lot of it was because they have the hot star losses, which we knew yeah. was going to be happening. The eleven million, I mean, it's probably mostly because of that. If we're being fair, yeah, yeah, that's that's probably true. Um, so let's talk about how they're going to uh, uh, jack up the prices uh, to compensate because that's you know. They always do that, right? Every mm-hmm. quarter. I mean, just expect you should just expect it. They didn't address Hulu or any of that stuff, did they? It was I well, think- it, Hulu gained not much. I think it was uh, just the the one part. I think it was that without live TV, only gained a point three million, so three hundred thousand. And then I think with live TV went up uh, a few million subscribers. Well, they're so jack- they did gain, but ESPN's kind of stayed the same. They're jacking the prices on, on Hulu again, yes, too. Yes, they're jacking the yeah. prices on pretty much everything. And I'll tell you, uh, when we get to that part, I'll tell you probably why they're doing it. So, yeah, here's what they're doing. Effective on October 12th, okay? Ad-free Hulu is going to increase from $3 to from $14.99 to $17.99 a month, just for the Hulu. Uh, Hulu plus live TV is going to increase $7 for $76.99 with ads to, to $90 without ads monthly. We are more than double what it was just a couple years ago. We first, when we first started with Hulu, and this is uh, before Disney bought it, but we, you know, cut the cable, cut the, uh, cut the cord early, got rid of cable, got rid of direct TV. We had direct TV and it was like $35 a month. Yeah. Well, now it's 90 and we have more channels too of our, yes. Remember. 90. Yeah. It's ridiculous, okay? Hulu with ads is going to stay the same at $7.99 a month. Now, the base Hulu with the ads and the base Disney Plus with the ads are staying at the low price or $9.99 for them combined because they want you to buy the cheap one. Because he said in the earnings call, 40% of the people are buying the cheap one. And here's the thing. They get to double sell it. They have you pay the $7.99 a month. And then they get to sell all the advertising, which he said they had a really good, yep. you know, for the, for these, um, because they were doing good at the upfronts. Yeah. They weren't making ad money. They wouldn't be raising the price by making the, getting all the ad sales that they're going to raise the price on everybody else to try to drive you to the ad supported tiers so they can double dip. So we go back to the, the list of uh, prices. And they said that ESPN is going to increase from one dollar to ten ninety nine, said nine ninety nine, or one hundred nine ninety nine yearly. Disney Plus without ads is going to go from ten ninety nine to thirteen ninety nine a month. Oh my God! Disney Plus with ads is going to remain at seven ninety nine a month, and because they want you to pay for the ads or to pay them more money and get the ads, and then now they're going to have that Disney Plus Hulu service. And it's going to be at nineteen ninety nine if you get it without ads. This is really confusing. There are too many tiers uh, yeah. for one thing. But beyond that, like I remember Disney throwing shade at Warner Brothers, throwing shade at uh, HBO for launching HBO Max at like fifteen, fifteen mm-hmm. or seventeen dollars a month. Oh, because they're like six ninety nine. Yeah, because they were only six ninety nine. But here we are. They're almost as much as HBO Max was. Well, you can get it for seven ninety nine if you have ads. And when I say ads, okay, let me just tell you. A couple of times when I've had, and, and even if you say, if you pay for no ads, it doesn't mean you're not going to get no ads. Right. On their new stuff, for example, on Hulu, they still run ads, even though they say they're not going to. A select yep. things won't have ads, okay? But we've literally sat through like eight commercials before. I mean, yes. it hasn't that way recently, but I've literally sat through like several minutes of commercials for, and it was like one chunk of commercials. They had other commercials throughout too. This wasn't just you watch all these commercials and be done. No, no, no. That was just one of the commercial chunks. It was like eight ads in a row. When you pause, they put ads on the screen. Yes. And then if you, if you, you know, if you try to rewind or anything, you have to watch ads again. You have or, to watch you know. ads again. Yep. It's, it's horrible. And it, you have to read the fine print. Hulu, yeah, if it's if it's new programming, if it's a live show, whatever, you're going to watch ads. That's just the way it is. And they're, and they're making sure. They, they yeah. said 40% of people want the ad-supported tier because it's cheaper. And they went up like $3.3 3 because of the ad-supported tier. So now they're going to do everything they can to jack the prices on people who don't want ads to try to make you think, well, you know, ads aren't so bad. I'll pay. If I can just pay this price, it'll be a lot less for me. You know, yeah. I mean, look at the, you know, live TV. If you pay, you know, it's like $77 to $90 in difference. So $76.99 to like 90 bucks, you're talking $13 a month difference in a year's time. You're saving a couple hundred bucks just to watch ads, you know, and they make a lot more than that. Oh, off yeah. You. Yeah. They might make more than that off of you in a month, you know, yeah. just off of showing you ads. Um so yeah, I mean this is uh, this is what you do when you start to lose customers. You charge, and this is a, the Disney way, and it's the way a lot of companies 
work now, but uh, Disney especially, you charge the remaining customers more money. Well, what happens is people are like, oh, you know what? Hey, fam, I'm going to share this with my sister. I'm going to give her my password. We all watch together. That's what they do when they keep ra- ra- raising the prices on you and being unreasonable. No, no, no. Starting next year, Disney's going to crack down on that too. Yeah, Baby Yoda does not approve. Uh, yeah, he said that they're going to actively explore ways to address account sharing and uh, you'll see some impact in calendar 20, uh, 2024 as possible. The work will not be completed within the calendar year. We certainly have established this is a real priority, he said. Yeah, because Netflix is doing it. They're cracking down. You know, yeah, This is also there. Disney who didn't want to have to let people know twice a year that they're, they're still subscribed to Disney in the UK because, you know, they're hoping people forget. Well, you're not going to not. You're going to notice when you're paying how much. Yeah. And look, it, it's the point now where to watch every show you want to watch. You're talking what? So you're 90 bucks for Hulu or whatever. And then you're, bucks. you're, you know, 20 bucks for HBO and you're, you know, uh, 20 bucks for your Netflix. And then you're, I mean, you're talking $200 a month in streaming services now, which is what cable used to cost the premium packages on, on cable. Yeah. I might, we're going to have to probably start canceling some stuff. Cause it's getting ridiculous. There's, uh, and the thing is, is it's like, it's not worth it to subscribe to a channel for like two shows you watch. Mm-mm. Yeah, you know, I've actually found myself watching. I, I said it before, and they're gonna charge for that too. I guarantee it. Roku, I watch Roku a lot, but they've mm-hmm. been losing money like crazy because you know it's all advertising supported. But I've been watching that more because it's easier for me just to go to the Roku channel, just go through the channels and see if there's something I want to watch. It is to you know which service is this show on? Oh, I don't remember. Well, I gotta go here and I gotta go here and I gotta, right. You know. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I do it with, with K Drum all the time. Like, what was that on again? Yeah, yeah, and it's just it's it's getting ridiculous. So one thing the investors like is that uh, they're going to apparently be doing some betting with uh, ESPN. They're you can't ins- gamble on Disney property, but, you know. You can't even have crane machines. You can't have ticket redemption. They had uh, – they took it – I remember that was a big thing. The arcades at the Disney resorts, they took all the ticket redemption out because they consider that to be gambling. Yes. So they took all those out. And they Walt took Disney cra- World, yeah. Yeah, Walt Disney World because uh, Florida passed some law about it or whatever. And so now – um, now they're going all in on betting because they got to make money, right? But but online betting makes big bucks. You know, you see ads for DraftKings all the freaking time. But uh, <laughs> Disney, we're about your family, but we're also about encouraging gambling and addictions. So, hey. Alcoholism. You know, you can drink everywhere in the park. They don't care. They don't care. But uh, yeah, so they have this huge deal, $1.5 billion deal with Penn. And Penn, I guess, owned the Barstool Sports and the guy that started it. Uh, paid a dollar to buy it back. They they lost eight hundred fifty million dollars. Why would you? Okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. How can they even do that though? So apparently it had something to do with the regulations. I said it was very hard for them to to run barstool sports. They kept getting fined, uh, and uh, they just they sold it back to them. Um, they said Penn and Barstool's divorce raises more questions about the merging of betting and media. Um, yeah, so, so they, they get rid of that, and now they're going in with Disney. Now they're going in. Yeah. That, okay. Isn't that weird? That's kind of weird. Weird how that works, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I think they're just taking the right off. I think everybody anymore with these media companies, because they're talking about how, you know, Vox and BuzzFeed and all these companies lost a ton of a ton of money, and they just kind of write it off. This is why people get mad, because when you have an issue like that, you don't just get to write it off and, and you know, claim it you know, for your taxes, but these guys do. Yeah. You know, if you're a company, you get to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, um, that's, that's really, uh, really interesting. It's like a side effect, but yeah. So Disney's now, now is going to run with that. Uh, of course they are. So they'll probably have all kinds of like betting, betting places at the wide world of sports or whatever. Don't know. SPI. I don't know if they can do that. Well, I don't know. Florida's. Not Florida. They can't because of, unless they change the gambling rule. Ah, uh, they might. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't think Florida's going to do any favors for Disney anytime soon. I don't think they're going to do anything for, oh, actually my understanding with the arcades from what I recall was, they were looking to get rid of the ticket redemption anyway. And they just used, gave them an out that gave them an Usually out like, with Disney. Cause if they wanted something bad enough, they'd throw a bunch of money at it and get yeah. their way. Like, you know, that was before, you know, when, before everybody got mad at Disney. So if they wanted to let it can stay, they could have done it. So this is like online betting. So they yeah. don't, I mean, it's going to be all over the place. It's kind of like, yeah. you know, DraftKings or whatever. Yeah. So that's, <laughs> It's just typical, typical. Hey, so, it worked. Their stock went up. Yeah, their stock did go up. So I, I don't know, guys. I mean, this, this wasn't really, I guess I expected, I expected more. I expected more. I mean, the thing is, they're not going to come out and say like, yep, you know, guys, uh, the house of mouse is on fire. We're completely fucked. 
We're going to sell everything. And uh, see ya. Yeah. See ya. I'm out of here. Peace. You know, that was not going to happen. Something else is interesting, though, in the meeting. Bob Iger was very, very quick to say that about looking for his successor again. In the intro, he made sure he mentioned that. Um, and then he also had to walk back the strike stuff. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling he me had about, to yeah. like, he had to like. Be, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so invested in finding a solution. It's Bullshit. a real big priority for me. No, it's not. Says after he was like, "This is a really bad time, guys. Why are you doing this?" And he got all this shit thrown back at him. I am sure that he was told he had to do that. I think people are probably like, "Hey, Bob, um, you're talking about Disney Plus being a, a pillar." Of, of Disney and, uh, and the films is not a pillar. Films and you ain't got anybody making any movies now. That's that's gonna be kind of just, a problem, right? Kind I mean, but problem. then again, you can say it doesn't mean it's gonna change his direction. He just put a statement out there, it doesn't mean that actually he's gonna stick to it. Well, then they were looking into, um, yeah, that's it. They always walk it back, but they were looking into AI solutions and stuff. Yeah, now they have 11 too, job openings open 11 across job the openings. company, so it's like. He's telling you one thing, but he, you know, how he behaves is going to be more indicative of whether or not he means it. And if he means it, it's because he got told he had to mean it. The, look, here's the thing. A guy like Bob Iger, you tell people whatever they want to hear he at the time does. to keep the stock price as high as you can keep it. In reality, I, I personally think Disney is freaking out behind the scenes. I think they're massively freaking out behind the scenes, but they're not going to let, you know, they can't look like they're failing because... If they sell the company, nobody wants to buy a failure, right? Mm -mm. They're going to be like, oh, Disney's doing good. This is a perfect time to you know, merge the company. But that's interesting that he dodged that. He would not answer that question. He directly. didn't. Oh, he just basically said, I think it's a little too early to speculate. I can't speculate. Or I can't speculate on that. I forget what he said. So like, he definitely said speculate. And then brought up about, well, given the, you know, how hard it is to get things through, you know, government, you know, oversight and stuff. He, he, I, what do you think? <laughs> but he didn't answer the question. Oh, they could get through. Apple can get through. It's a question the question. It's like, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. We're humming the humming the humming the humming the. All right. Are we going to wrap this up? Yep. Let's wrap this one up, guys. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.